Hi everyone, it's Panda here again. Since I wanted to add a sundial to my town, I thought it would be good to show you guys how I make one. First of all, sundials need to be positioned at an elevated area where light is not blocked by any tall structures or land, so that its user experience can be maximized and you can tell the time by the sundial's shadow. So choose its position wisely. Well, this is just going to be a simple one. First, we're going to be building the base using wooden beams, turning each of them by one angle, outline the circle. Now, I'm going to build one of these first to show you guys how it looks like, then we'll build the rest. First, place a 45 degrees X as the wall, then place a stone floor, then build one iron pole upwards from these two sides and connect them with another iron beam. Imagine that we're building a cube with beams here. Then place 2 meter wooden beams for the sides. We're going to need to use iron poles for these three parts as our support for the stone on top. We'll need a wooden wall to help us guide our stone floor into position, and we'll remove that later on. So now, let's place our stone floors. We have to place them manually because if we let them snap into position, beams are higher than the floors and it will not look good. Also, you should face the outer wall to place the stone walls. If you face the inside to place them, the stone walls will be seen from the outer wall, which will be ugly as well. You might need to adjust the stone floors often for the best look. Then, remove the wooden wall on the exterior. Now, what if this is done, we're going to be building the same for alternate walls. First, stone floors at the bottom. Then 45 degrees X. Then iron poles. Iron beams. No. Two meter wooden beams. Wooden walls. And finally, stone floors. After placing the stone floors, remember to remove the wooden walls.
Now for the gaps. We are going to use two 1 meter wooden beams at the edge, following the outline of the circle. Then, one 2 meter wooden beam connecting it to the middle like this. Do this for all the gaps. We're going to fill the rest of the walls with 45 degrees X. Now our top base is almost complete. We're going to use 2 meter wooden beam connecting from the sides to craft the middle part. Use 1 meter wooden beams to outline the small circle in the middle. And place both yeah. floors here. And for the middle, yeah. place a 2 times 2 wooden floor. Now the sandal is complete, except for the needle in the middle. For the needle design, you can choose to use either just a 45 degrees slanted wall or just a pole. Or place a 26 degree beam and connect it to the dragon ornament. The sandal needle has to be pointed towards the north direction. To do this, press M to show the world map and scroll down to zoom out entirely. Now you can see where your character is facing by looking at the yellow arrow's direction. Turn yourself to face the north and then place your sandal needle in that direction. The sundown is now complete. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I hope you've learned something from this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.